actually have to tell you uh, that your mother was my acting teacher in college. Which college? At Emerson. Awesome. Yeah, great, great teacher. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did she make you cry? She did, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's, that's really... She almost didn't let me in the program. That's so I had auditioned twice for her. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing uh, the, the Jack Nicholson speech from A Few Good Men, the play. That was my... <laughs> right. I, as an 18-year-old kid, that was the, the really? what I picked. And the, she made me do it a second time, and she said, if you want to get in this program, you better be better than Nicholson this time. <laughs> <laughs> but I got in. I got in. So poor Nicholson. I know. I don't know. Well, poor me. I was. Yeah, I was crying. She definitely. She definitely. Yeah. It was. She's tough. She's tough. But she must be thrilled about your success and getting to work with Mr. Woody Allen. Yeah. No. Mom's pleased. Mom. Mom's heard of Woody Allen. And <laughs> she's heard of him. Yeah, he's done a couple she, of films. She knows that he's had a lot of success, and she likes me to be in the orbit of success. So she's happy about it. Excellent. Excellent. Well, what is it like as an actor on a Woody Allen set? Uh, what was the experience like for you? Well, I mean, I I don't know. I get around really powerful, important, famous, talented people, and I get a little blonde about everything. Mm. And I really try to ditz my way through it. And that's sort of, uh, yeah, that worked for me on this. We had like such a, we were wearing such beautiful clothes. We were in such a beautiful place. And that company is so beautiful and so charming. We'd have long, you know, uh, transpo rides to the set where uh, everyone was telling dirty jokes the whole <laughs> way. It was a very tight knit uh, thing in very tight knit clothing. Um, it was a really silly time. It, do you have a chance to? do a lot of take, he only does a couple takes, right? Mm -hmm. So do you have a lot of chance to try different things or is it kind of like one and you're done and moving on to the next thing? And how do you, how does he tell you sort of, you know, this is what I'm looking for or we need to do something else? Well, yeah, uh, I mean, we had to get like two or three takes and um, you know, a slight adjustment, slight adjustment. And then after the second one, he'd come up and say, Okay, we've had two your way, and now what if we do one the way I wrote it, the way I intended it to be, so it seems like you actually like the girl, not that you're just some rich idiot, you know? So let's try one like that. I don't know. You might be right. I might be wrong. We'll give it a try. That's a good so, Woody Allen. Uh, that's a good version of my mother doing Woody Allen. Yeah. Uh, what was it like working with Emma Stone? You have some oh, lovely she's, scenes with her. Oh, she was so nice and so encouraging because... Uh, I would be like in a bathing suit singing with a tiny guitar and uh, she just looks up at you and, and says, you can do it. You know, she was sort of like, she was kind of the team leader. Please tell Colin Firth that I said so. <laughs> uh, but we all really, uh, she, she makes you feel awesome. Like, and really the belong. singing and the, it, was it a ukulele? It's yeah. like a little, did you have to, to sort of train to be able to play like that or did you already have I that I trained and trained skill? and trained and trained and yeah. trained and trained and trained. And I think the sub-mediocre results speak for themselves. <laughs> no, I don't think sub-mediocre at all. Oh, that's sub. <laughs> oh, it's below sub. It's a deep sea sub. Mediocre. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Excellent. It was great talking to you. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Thank you so much. I'm yeah. so excited.